Uh, hello, uh, this is Eric, and I come from Third Fiber Technology Company. Today, I will introduce uh, the new OTDR. The model number is uh, 9810TEK D26. Okay, uh, the OTDR is small, um, but it is with uh, many functions. Of course, the most the most important uh, uh, a function is the OTDR. Okay, the OTDR supports three testing modes: uh, auto auto test and uh, average average test and uh, real time test. Okay. Uh, and now I will <coughs> demo the OTDR. Okay, and I just simply um, press the test button. The OTDR will uh, give uh, the testing result very, very quickly. Okay, uh, users can uh, just uh, use their fingers to zoom in or zoom out the 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 uh, the testing result um, to see more details. It is very smoothy uh, to operate the uh, screen. Okay. <clears throat> and here you can see the OTDR uh, uh, give users the, the event list and uh, here the uh, measurement result uh, uh, users can also uh, uh, check the testing result in other direction Okay, you can also zoom in or zoom out very easily. Very easy and uh, uh, smooth. Okay, here the OTDR also uh, display the icon to let new users understand uh, the OTDR curve easily. Okay. And uh, uh, when you zoom in or zoom out, you want to get uh, uh, the or uh, original um, display. You can just uh, 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 double click the screen uh, by your finger. Okay, it will get back to its or ori original state. Okay, and here. Users can set more, 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 more parameters. Okay, as you can see, the ODDR also support uh, two wavelengths to test uh, same time. So users uh, do not need to um, go to the the test the test setting page and uh, change wavelengths. Okay, I just simply select the two um, uh, wavelengths. Uh, 13 one uh, nanometer and uh, uh, 1550 nanometer. Okay. Now I press the test button. The ODDR will uh, give us two uh, a testing result. One is uh, for thirteen ten nanometer, and uh, the other one is for fifteen fifteen nanometer. Okay.
okay i can as uh, users can just simply as press this button to switch uh, the wavelength the wavelength okay so a uh, users can compare the two uh ODDI curve okay and there's a uh, uh, testing time the range and the uh, pulse setting is no uh, more it's no difference with any other ODDRs so I will not show more you uh, show more demos and now we go to the advanced here you can see uh, you can select a connector connector on or connector off that means if you want to uh, test the first uh, connector that connected to the ODDR you, you need to select the on if you do not want to test the first but the first uh connector you do not you you just select off okay and the oddr also support uh, uh last cable you can see here start cable St the uh the function helps users to um, de to, to deduct the uh, launch cable's length Okay, you can select, uh, you can uh, input your uh, large cables length. Okay. Uh, the, the end cable uh, is no uh, more many, no more, it's no much different than the, the, the large cable. It is just uh, at the end of the cable uh, you are testing. Okay. Uh, the ODDR also support the users to set to to setting the the path of well um, parameters here. And here the ODDR also uh, uh, support uh, users name their testing result in different way. Okay, if I want to start, want to the testing result, uh, a file name start with uh, uh, Eric, I can just uh, input Eric here. Then the testing result uh, will, the name of the testing result will start with Eric. Okay. Okay, this is the OTDR function. Uh, now I uh, give give you a demo of the event map. The event map uh, uh, is no is is just like uh, the uh, OTDR the o the OTDR, but it give users um, icons to help them understanding the OTDR curve easily. Okay. Okay, it it uh, uh it displays uh, the testing result. Uh, by the icons and the event list, so new users can understand it uh, easily. And uh, uh, this one is uh, uh, an optical power meter. Okay, uh, it supports many uh, uh, narrators, uh, many uh, lambdas. Just press this button to change the wavelength. 
and you can if you think uh, it is not uh, accurate you can um, calibrate calibrate it by yourself okay And uh, uh, this this one is uh, a VFL. Okay, VFL. Okay, you can see the red light flash, flash quickly. Okay, it is it is simple but useful. And uh, uh, this one is the leather leather source. You can also uh, change the frame so the wavelengths and uh, the wavelength and the frequency of the leather source. Okay, uh, this function is for RJ45 cable testing. Okay. Uh, at the 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 bottom of the device, uh, you can see the a uh, remote unit. This is the remote unit. Now I want to test the sequence of the uh, of of the IG forty five cable. Okay. And the remote unit, you should do uh, yes, connect to the uh, other side of the cable. Okay. Now I press the test button. Okay. Uh, you can see the result. The uh, the the cable is uh, eight line a uh, straight through cable okay and press this button to Uh, uh, you need to use this, uh, this checker, uh, checking receiver, uh, uh, to check, uh, uh, IJ forty five cable. Okay. Now I I already uh, connect it to the device, and press this button, and now you can use the, uh, the receiver. Uh, to the to 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 track the cable that connected uh, with the device. Okay. Okay. Yes, it works just like this way. And uh, the next uh, one is the the file. The ODDR uh, support a uh, uh, file a uh, management system. You can also change the name. Change the name 
of the testing result. Okay. The next one is the system setting. And you can see uh, uh, the brightness. If you use the ODDR uh, outdoor, uh, uh, you, you need to uh, set You need to set the enhanced brightness on. It will um, uh, uh, let users see the screen clearly and and the strong sunshine. Okay. And the ODDR also support uh, the Bluetooth. And uh, you can also download. Uh, the the user menu from um by scan the QR code by your uh, uh your mobile phone. Okay, now I will um demo the Bluetooth. Uh, you can scan the QR code to download uh the Bluetooth software that. Uh, will be installed ins that will be installed on your mobile phone okay and I click this button to start the Bluetooth okay and uh, uh, here I have the mobile phone. I have already installed the software, uh, as an application, uh, on my uh, mobile phone. Okay. Now I I I need to add the uh, the device to. Uh, um, uh, to the application. Okay, select the uh, 980 tag. Okay, now the device is connected, and you can also see, uh, the information, uh, on your um, on your uh, ODDR. Okay, now I can control the ODDR by uh, my mobile phone. And here you can see the ODDR function, optical power meter, visual photo locator, laser source. Okay. You can you can see it in here. Now I just simply start the test. After the testing, you can also uh, check the uh, OTDR curve uh, on the mobile phone. Okay. And uh, uh, press this button to uh, see a list event map. 
okay and uh, press the uh, button to save uh, SOR or uh, save a PDF you can also uh, click click uh, press the attrib attribute uh, to input uh, uh, some information about the cable you are testing uh, now press this button to export the PDF okay um, before you export you have uh, uh, opportunity to to select uh, what uh, uh, what items you are uh, you are going to export okay and press this button to get the uh, the the result in P, um, in PDF And before that, you can also uh, write your write your name. Okay, save, export. Okay, then you can get a result uh, with your signature. And now you can share. Uh, the testing result, the PDF, uh, by the ways you like. Okay, uh, I just give you a, a general uh, demo about the ODDR. If you want to uh, know more details, you can contact our sales. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.